Good morning and salam ibu petiwiku. The Ministry of Welfare, Community Wellbeing, Women, Family and Childhood Development, KWKPK has various initiatives and programs that have been set up and ongoing to channel assistance to the local community. According to its Minister Dato Sri Hajah Fatima Abdullah, KWKPK has never appointed any unauthorized external agency to become a medium in managing the aid distributed to the community. She said that among the bodies involved with the KWKPK were welfare volunteers, village committees, community leaders and Sukarelawan Squad Sayang. Therefore, she urged the public to contact the welfare helpline immediately if they feel wary about the help they have been recommended and channeled to by certain parties to them. If there is anybody who claims to be kami, bagi lantai sebagai agent, untuk membantu kita, menolong kita untuk mendapat bantuan daripada Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat kalau was-was, sila hubungi kami. Ada headline tadi ya, hubungi kami. Because uh, as far as possible, go direct. That is one. If not, ya, yang telah dilantik adalah sukarelawan kebajikan ko dan JKK. JKK di setiap kampung ataupun uh, ketua kaum she said this in her speech during the KWKPK and Strategic Partners Gawai Raya 2019 dinner, as well as the Service Excellence Awards at Baitumal Hall, Majma in Kuching. In the meantime, she also expressed her appreciation to the strategic partners involved in the charity programs that were held by KWKPK. Among them are AADK, PDRM, JSJN and the Health Department. In the meantime, at the same event, the staff of the Ministry of Utilities, especially those in the public relations and communications section of the ministry, have been urged to act fast in addressing issues related to water supply interruption. Speaking at the same event, Utilities Minister Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Rundiu Tom said, it is also vital to inform the public of what was actually happening. He explained that they receive complaints regarding water supply interruptions daily and this would make it seem as if the ministry had not done enough. He added, therefore, the PR section plays an important role for the ministry to provide the right picture of the situation to them. The first-hand information received from their engineers on the field is also vital so that the public are well aware of the situation. He further remarked that the ministry's staff should be proactive in informing the public on the remedial actions the ministry would take and that they should not wait for third parties to resolve the issues. The Federation of Sri Aman Chinese Associations wants the, the name of Sri Aman town to be changed to Sri Mangang and for the division to retain the name Sri Aman. According to its president, Dr. Dr. Ngu Piu Seng, the request was contrary to what Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Johari Tunopeng had proposed on Sunday and claimed that the Federation made its proposal for the name change to the government about 20 years ago. During an event here on, here on Sunday, Abang Johari announced that he had agreed in principle to rename Sri, Sri Aman Division as a Simangang Division, with the town itself retaining the name Sri Aman. Nu, however, said he disagreed with the proposal, stressing that the town's name deserves the change rather than the division, as changing the name of the division would only confuse people. He said the desire to rename the town Simangang came from those who actually live in the town, adding that when anyone mentions Simangang, they are referring to the town and not the division. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yumes Rani from TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.